Mariam's school. We're out here waiting for her. Not here yet. Waiting for you. That's who just snuck up on me. What's up, Mariam? I heard you guys lost. You lost? Aww. Well, we all gotta we all gotta lose sometime, yeah, right? Yeah, we've lost two, three games now. How many games? Maybe you guys suck. <laughs> yeah. You it's guys suck. Monday. Who plays a soccer game on Monday? Uh, ain't, yeah. First of all, you know I, I keep... other stuff to do. Right. Still gotta finish my schoolwork. Gotta wash my hair. Am I gonna wash your hair? If you're nice to me. Did you uh, did you make your homework in on time for Sunday or no? But you can still get those in. All right. I'm sick, Mariam. You guys gave me all your diseases. Between you guys and the patients, I don't know. It wasn't me. Well, you haven't been sick, so maybe it wasn't you. I think Kareem I mean, and I certainly tons of patients once, but I mean, like, have I been sneezing and coughing and allergies and all of that. Even though this is not allergy, because allergy doesn't make you have fever and yeah, 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 runny. They heard Daddy's rent. Oh my god, is this yogurt in here? How old is this yogurt? Oh, I bought it this afternoon. Are you Dude, kidding me? I'm not eating that. You got Alzheimer's? No, How do you buy it yogurt and it never it makes it to the house? It rolled under the chair. Thank you, Mariam. I'm not eating that because I don't want to get poisoned by yogurt that's been sitting out in the car in the heat. How much was that? $5 gone to waste. Five dollars gone to waste. I'm not eating that. And you know what? I felt like a smoothie today. I really did. Anyway, so on our way back home. Before it gets dark. What time is it? It's like 7, 7.15. Maria, you've had a long day. Seriously long day. You have to be back at school? No, it's tomorrow for your trip. Tomorrow for your trip at 8.15? No, she's got to be there before 8.15. So, so we got to braid your hair so today, late, huh? She's we got to braid your hair. Should I braid it or twist it? No, I won't like twist it. You want twist? A lot of trucks around here. And of course, you must have your Dollar General. Actually, I think we have two Dollar Generals, right? One here isn't one by Belks? Yeah, you got Dollar Generals all over. You got one by Belks, you got one here, you got one in there, Harris Teeter. Uh, three or four Dollar Generals. So anywhere you want your cheap provisions and... So in the Benadryl, then what else do you need? In Lormer. You need little, you need yeah, little two you almost missed it. <laughs> How about your uh, toothbrush? Some of these houses are quite pretty. Yeah. Yeah. You come in. Country living. So, this is a few streets from where we live. Cat likes to take these back roads, swampy back roads. I prefer to stay where it's lit. Ken, come on, we're gonna get in an accident. Keep playing. Stop. I wish a deer would come running right now and, and knock you in the head. Look at him, look at him spazzing out. This is what I deal with, folks. This is what I deal with. Everybody thinks, everybody thinks he's like super serious. But he is quite playful and obnoxious at times. Us at the back door. To work, but it's time for a snack first. Let's see. Ah, I think that will do. You guys like these wasabi peas? I love this. It's kind of peppery, pungent. Mmm. All right.
about to have me some wasabi peas before I get back to work. So for those of you that haven't tried this, you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> it's really good. Great snack. If you like sushi, you might like these. Even the dog likes some of these wasabi peas. <laughs> he likes them. <laughs> I wonder if they burn his tongue. It's so funny watching him lick his lips. <laughs> uh, did you like that Q-tip? Yeah, I bet you did, you little greedy dog. Anyway, mommy's got to go do some work. Go play, go play. He's usually doing his schoolwork in the exam room too. For some reason, he's decided this is a quiet place to work. Hi, Kareem. Mm -hmm. How's work doing? Mm -hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. My little nerdy son. Actually, you're the less nerdy of the two. He's into his comic books and what's the Japanese animation? Are you really into that as much as your brother is? He's more into it than me. He's more into it than you? But I like some, some of them. So what's that you're doing now? I have to find these quotes for a, a specific character in the book. What book Brown, is it? Uh, Lord of the Flies. Lord of the Flies. What grade, what reading grade is that? It's, it's, I read it in sixth grade the first so time. So why the hell are they making you read sixth grade uh, books? They're making us do extra stuff with it. Sixth like, grade books? What, what point is that? I don't know. We're not reading it for I don't story. think that's challenging enough, is it? I'm not reading it for the story or the words in it, because there's no, there's no uh, big vocabulary in it. Right, so then what's the point? Yeah, he's, he's giving us all this work to do. Just busy work. Because he's not here. So why, yeah, it's just busy work because the teacher's not there. So why don't you guys suggest a book that's appropriate for your, for your grade? Well, we can, but it's not like he could give it to us. Why not? Because he's not here. And we can't tell the uh, substitute or the principal because the principal's not always here either. Hmm, that sucks. That sucks. Meanwhile, in New York City or some other major city, there's some kid that's reading college level books right now and doing an amazing book report. Right? Mm -hmm. While you have a substitute teacher and uh, absent teacher letting you read sixth grade level foolishness. But then again, there might be a point to this madness, right? Well, What's the point? I can get past the fact that I think you should be reading a little bit more challenging of a book. But they're always making things easy for you guys. Huh? Mm -hmm. Right? They're always making it easy for you guys. It's supposed to be challenging. It's supposed to be that you learn new words that you didn't know before. Is there any words in here that you didn't know before? No. No. So that's when I would tell the substitute teacher, um, excuse me, teacher, I have better things to do. No, you can't say that. <laughs> you can't say that, can you? No, we'll get written up. We'll get written up. So bad. That's so funny. <laughs> Jerry Can't even see your head, Mariam. Yeah, All right, time to do your hair. I didn't know it was this big until I looked in the mirror in your room. I was like, oh. oh it's big. The hair, like I did. You need to give some to Daddy. <laughs> anyway, we need to hook you up. Mommy's day is never done. How am I going to transform that? How am I going to transform that into somebody who looks civilized? What? Do you know who Shaka Khan is? No. Or Diana Ross? Yeah. You know who Diana Ross is, right? Alright, that would be sad if you don't know. Well, you kind of look like you got her hair going on. Time to tame the beast. Time to tame the beast with some water first. <laughs> I know, that looks mean, doesn't it? She needs some water before we try combing this craziness. The 
this stuff is amazing see flat brush goes right through it nice shiny hair compared to the before look at this good flat brush some water and some of this awesome how amazing is this stuff smells good and makes our hair super soft and then I will later add some shea butter when I want to um, get my twists in place so yeah it's amazing I guess her hair is combed out let's see Miriam nice and soft and silky Oh, you man, the, use the right hair products and use the right hair products and it's amazing. Look at that shine. Keep turning. Three to 3,500 courses in social science, humanities, natural science and engineering. Average class size of 12. Well, no wonder you can really learn. Uh, Revolutionary financial aid. Consider that Harvard is so affordable that it's cost less than the state school for 9% of our American families. Wow. Yeah, let's look, and look at this. That's important. And the thing is, he, see, they're saying it to him, and he's not even asking for it. Right. See, that's, uh, that's also a big difference. My son gets harder, I get the big. <laughs> Quinnipiac! Quinnipiac okay. forever! Huh, Miriam? NYU for you? That's a very competitive school, too. I love this. This is one reason why I, um, I love that. Yay! We finally done. She's so tired. I'm tired. Uh, dying. I hope you have fun at your trip, Miriam. Thank you. I hope you have fun. You're going to take lots of pictures? One a day, actually. One a day. That's our little rule. We need at least one a day. But look how pretty it is. Look how pretty it is. An hour later and we're done. Finally. Yep, yeah, I think it looks good. And it should last. I just braided the front a little bit and then twisted the rest of it. But in the back, it's all just twists. Just twists. But it's pretty. All right, now we'll put on the scarf and time to go to bed. Go to bed.